Here, still a smile on my face, meaning everything is going good. And uh, one more thing to do now before we completely finish this is uh, I'll make you closer. There you go. This here and this here, this is the pin that will push on this part here. On the okay, on the center hub there. It's gonna be acting like a, there are four of those, so they'll be acting like a four jaw chuck. And uh, presently, since I opened this up more than it should have been, they're a little bit too long. If I it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to put them in, but uh, eventually they go in. Okay, it's going in. And uh, what I want to do is uh, get the screw in. And uh, that screw must be a little bit inside the surface of the, the circumference of that uh, chuck. And here it's flush a little bit inside okay but what we're having here is it's it's already inside and uh, if I want to have uh, adjustment it has to be whether a little bit off this uh, this area or a little bit recessed in there so what what we got to do now is just get a little bit of this and we'll be uh, ready to mount the chuck by how much we'll just uh, eyeball it a little bit it's not very uh, again another non-critical precision chuck made with non-critical measurements so far so good uh, okay this way that's gonna be simpler like I say, I approximate that will be more than good enough. So, 110,112. 110, so, we'll make it about 120, 115, 120. So, we're sure that all this one and the other ones will do exactly the same and they will, um, they will allow the adjustment to. Uh, reach its full uh, extent and uh, guess what another precision operation will shorten them up Need water. Okay, with water it goes better. These buggers get hot. A bit more. 
Okay, we're pretty close to the end now. Uh, Got to put these little pins into their uh, respective size sides, and uh, be about there. Okay, let me stand this up. That'll probably be better. There's one. Going right through, we'll put the uh, that's my key. Okay, so I just feel the pin that's not, it's just on the surface inside, so it's not going in and uh, be ready to press on the uh, in the empty space is another one with the proper uh, set screw you probably see them inside now Okay, it's starting to push. It's right flush inside. That's exactly what we wanted. And the uh, screw here is slightly in inward, so it won't interfere. There we go. Another set screw. Okay. I'm starting to feel the push, the screw is flush, that's pretty good, the last one, it's in this place, going towards the center, put this uh, right there, it's starting to push and it's right a little bit under the surface. That's exactly what we need. Okay, now put the screws in so it doesn't scratch. Wow, I'm excited. We'll clean this up good. Very good cleanup. The surface here has to be super clean because it will lean on this surface here. Oops. 
Oh, I've got a little, uh, oh, I've got that little, tiny, tiny little piece of shit. This is a little uh, diamond file. It's going to take the finer, finer part of it. Just make sure. That we're clear. Super clean. Here we go again. And let's put the plate on top of this. Oops, the holes are matching. That's good. That's something. A good start. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start the screws in a little bit. The end of a project like that is always exciting. There you go. I think I'll have to uh, get a little about, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 20,000 off the, the end of the screws there. Okay, next one. Yep, still getting adjustment. That's exactly what we wanted. One. There we go. It's getting heavy, but everything together it weighs a uh, good 80 pounds. Oh, 80 pounds, like uh, leaning over a uh, lathe and uh, trying to uh, just put the pins in the uh, in the brooch of the lathe is a uh, is a good task. Uh, just snug like that a little bit. And then what we're going to do, we're going to try driving the, uh, oops, not this one, driving the side pins, see if it moves. Yes, it does. Yes, it is moving. Houston, we got liftoff. So far, we're pretty well off. Well, check the face. Happy face. Uh, the wife's coming. She's going to be hungry. Uh, I'm going to have to go cook a little supper. And, uh, be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the uh, trial day on this. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm happy. So that's it for today, and uh, we'll be uh, up early tomorrow, like uh, noon or one or one o'clock, something like that. You know, like early, but not too early. Out of your I uh, was asking about the grease I used when I reassembled the chuck. Uh, 
this is the product it's made by uh, Lucas it's a uh, high grade or heavy duty grade uh, extra extra number two like usually you uh, define the Lucas project by the number there it says on the side here it lasts about four times longer than uh, any other uh, kind of a uh, spe you know specialized grease or anything I find that product pretty good for bearings for uh, high friction things like that and also we can all like it's uh, Fabriqué aux Etats-Unis, made in the USA. It should be a good product.